hello. Greetings from beautiful South Otter Lake at Frontenac Provincial Park. Going to do a little bit of chair yoga without a chair, sitting on a fallen tree. And I'd invite you to join along and begin by warming up the spine. First thing we're going to do is just sit nice and tall, pulling in the abdomen, rising up through the spine, taking a deep breath. Take your feet about a little bit wider than hip width apart. Place your hands on your knees. Gently tuck your chin toward your chest and bring your right ear, your left ear over to your left shoulder, down and around and up. Down, getting a nice movement through the spine. When you come down, you can begin and move in the opposite direction. Now we're going to repeat this movement one more time, but this time we're going to get the whole body involved in this. Bend the head down, let the head roll to the side, very gently lift the chin back down around. And the next time you come down forward, reverse and go in the opposite direction. And then come, press into the palms and come up to sitting. And just take a moment to feel the energy moving through the body. Feel how the breath is beginning to deepen. Now take the hands, interlace the fingers, turn the palms outward, and just gently press. You feel a nice stretch across the back. And then bring the arms back in and release the hands. Take the arms out to the side, join the palms overhead, and then very gently pull the energy down the front of the body. Taking a nice deep breath, once more inhale, bring the arms up, press the palms together and pull the energy down the midline of the and one more time, arms to the side, press the palms together, pull the energy down the front of the body. Interlace the fingers once more and place the hands on top of the head. We're not going to put any pressure on the head, we're just going to rest the hands here. Lift the chin so that it's parallel to the ground. Take a nice inhale, gently pull in your navel toward the back of your spine so that you're sitting nice and tall. And very gently, without tipping from side to side, lift the left elbow toward the sky. So it's not a side bend, we're just lifting the elbow. The head and chin are staying relatively motionless. And you might feel this pulling along your side ribs. And we'll move fairly quickly up, down, up, down. Make sure that your jaw's relaxed, that you're not pressing into your head, you're just using your head as a place to rest your fingers. And once more on each side, elbow up, and down. Release the shoulders. Spin the shoulders around toward the back, up to the ears, press toward the back, and then slide your shoulder blades down along your spine. Up. Back. Now we're going to place the palms on the knees again, turning the elbows out slightly, and 
we're going to begin to move the torso from side to side. So your pelvis and your hips are staying rooted on the seat of the chair. Moving the torso from side to side. And feel your side body moving. And then come back to center. Take your arms out to the side. Bend the elbows. And this time we're going to shift the spine, but we're going to keep the head and the neck and the upper body stationary. So just shift the spine from side to side. This is a wonderful release for tension in the lower back. And then release your hands down. Just place your palms on your thighs. Take a moment to feel the breath moving through the body. Listening to the silence. Take your hands and just place your hands at your waist, just resting on the iliac crest or on your hip bones. I'm going to bring your feet in just slightly so that your feet are about hip width apart. We're going to transfer the weight onto the right foot and lift up the left pelvis and down and root both sitting bones into your seat. And then shifting over to the other side, lift the right pelvis and back to center. Once more, left, right. The pelvis is actually two separate bones joined together, so Feel the two sides rocking from side to side. And then come back to center. Take a deep breath. Take your feet wider than hip width apart. Very gently begin to bend forward, hinging at the hips far as is comfortable for you and then let your hands hang and if you'd like to take the pose a little deeper press your elbows into your knees and your knees into your elbows take a deep breath and then release place your hands on the front of your legs and roll back up Bring your feet back closer together so they're hip width apart. Take your left hand and place it on the outside of your right knee. And then inhale, bring the right arm up. And on the exhale, begin to turn your fingers. And then at the very end, when you've gone as far as your body wishes to turn, you can very gently turn your head to look out over your fingers. Take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, come back around to center. Brace your palm on the opposite knee. Inhale the arm up. And slowly, beginning the motion from your navel, begin to twist. And when you've gone as far as you can twist, you wish to twist today, you can turn your head to look out over your fingers. And then come back to center. 
use both hands. And just take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Thank you for joining me in this brief spine tingling yoga. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.